stopping drinking alcohol. It's one of the choices that an individual can make that has amazing effects on their life. Better health to better relationships, more clarity, more energy. The list of benefits are endless. But at the same time, for many people that stop drinking it, they're not sure what to do with themselves afterwards. For some people, sadly, they make no changes. They just do what they did before, and before you know it, they're back at square one, they're relapsing and so on. So what I wanna do for you in this video is I want to share five things that you must do after stopping drinking if you wanna make your life better. If you just wanna sit around and watch Netflix and do nothing, then this video is not for you. But if you wanna stop drinking and start making epic changes in your life and start improving things, then you will want to watch this whole video. The fifth one is the most important, so please make sure to stick around to the very end of the video. And if you want to get access to a free video training that shows you how to control your drinking, it's called The Stranger Secret to Controlling Alcohol Without AA Willpower and Rehab. Click the link in the description. You'll put your name and email address in and then you'll get instant access to that training video. It is probably the best video that I've ever made. So if you wanna watch that one after this one, click the link in the description. But now back to the video. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to focus on health, fitness, and nutrition. Why do I say that? At the end of the day, if we've been drinking alcohol, we've been poisoning our body, right? We've been drinking a poison that is highly toxic and it's doing nothing for us. And it's impacting pretty much every cell in our body. So the best place to start when you remove it is to double down on improving your health and fitness. So already by removing alcohol, your health and fitness will be improving exponentially. It'll be getting so much better just by that simple action. But why not double down it? Why not get back to a gym or you know, take up a sport or start doing some outdoor activities, some bike rides, some hiking, improve your nutrition, right? Learn a little bit about nutrition or start working with a, with a health coach or something like that. When we double down on it, not only do we get the benefits from not drinking alcohol, but we can make our health just so much better. And then with better health, there's more confidence. We look better, we feel better, our energy is better. Everything gets better when we're healthy. And to me, that's exactly what I did. When I stopped drinking just under four years ago, I immediately got back to the gym. I started a getting consistent again. I started training hard. I started eating the right food. I started hydrating and I really made that a priority in my life. And I've kept that for the past four years. It's one of those foundational things that I think that every non-drinker should prioritize, bar none. So what a great place to start. Now, the second thing that you can do is you can really reconnect with your either your religion or just your spirituality. For some people, that might mean getting back to church or going back to a mosque or doing something like that. They might start praying again. But I know that not all of you are religious. For a lot of people, spirituality has got nothing to do with going to a church and praying. For some of you, that might just mean, you know, getting back into mindfulness and maybe doing some meditation. But why not make it a priority? Why not create some kind of ritual where every day, you know, the first 15 minutes of the day, you do something spiritual, like you meditate, you pray, you do some visualization. Maybe for some of you, it's just some yoga. Spirituality can mean many different things for many different people. And whatever your version of spirituality is, I respect it. But when you're not drinking alcohol, it will deepen your spiritual practices. So carve out some time for that and really reconnect with your spirituality. The third thing is what you can do is you can create a 90 day sprint. Now this is something that I did in, in, a, in a coaching program. And what they did at the beginning of the program was got me to design some goals for 90 days time. What they said is, you know, five, you can have like this five year vision, right? You want to create a vision where you want your life to go, but anything over a 90 day plan is a waste of time. They believed that if you planned over 90 days, you probably, you don't give yourself enough room to adjust and make changes. They think that having a 90 day sprint where they make a plan and then it's head down, focus, attack, 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 go, 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 execute, execute, execute. That's the way to go. And it works. And it's probably why the business world is broken up into quarters, right? We have these quarterly goals, monthly goals, whatever. But why not start there? Why not create a 90 day plan? Why not create some goals, some targets, some things that you wanna execute and just build your own 90 day plan? You know what they say, fail to plan, plan to fail. Having a plan and having some targets and having some goals, especially when you've removed alcohol from your life, is a great way to just build momentum and get yourself where you wanna go faster. So another great thing to do. Now, the fourth thing that you can do is you could create some kind of financial plan. Why do I say that? Because when we're not drinking alcohol, we're saving tens of thousands of dollars over a lifetime, if not hundreds of thousands. So why not sit down, 
think about how much you were spending on alcohol and then create some kind of financial plan of what to do with that money. Some of you, you might just wanna save up for a new car or go on holiday. For some of you, you might wanna put that money into some investment, into some real estate or into the stock market or whatever it is you wanna invest in. But why not create a financial plan with the money that you will save from alcohol? Not only that, but then maybe what you can also do is think about all the extra time that you've got, all the extra energy you've got, what could you do to create more money in your life? How could you create more wealth? Maybe that means just pushing harder in your career and going for a promotion. Maybe for some of you, that's starting your own business, doing something on the side. Or if you've already got a business, maybe it's about doubling down. But why not create a financial plan? Because if you're not drinking alcohol, you're gonna be saving so much money, but you're also gonna have so much energy for new ideas, new creativity. So there we go. Create some targets for your financial life. And finally, the fifth thing that you can do is if all of this is a little bit too overwhelming, you're like, Leon, I'm just not ready to create these plans and do all this stuff. Well, here's a simple thing to apply. Just aim to get 1% better every single day. You do not need to change the world as soon as you stop drinking, right? I know sometimes we can want to do that. Sometimes we can stop drinking and our energy comes back and we get the confidence and we're like, but damn, our life's just not where we want it to be. We might feel like a million dollars, but our life just might not be exactly where we want it to be. So instead of trying to take on the world and just go, 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 just focus on making your day a little bit better the next day. And the only way that you can really do this is reflecting on the previous day. It's looking at what went well and what could have been improved. And then the next day, just making some changes and executing. So a good thing to do as part of improving 1% every day is that reflection. It's that journaling. It's, it's reflecting on the day and then making plans to make things better the next day. I've applied this in my own life many times. I mean, I've done it with SoberClear. I've done it with the YouTube channel, you know, with the videos. When I was first getting started, it was like, how can we make this video just a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better? How can we make the thumbnail better? How can we make the, the set nicer? How can we make the editing better? And this goal of making things just 1% better is great when you're a perfectionist because if you're just aiming to get a little bit better than yesterday, things don't need to be perfect. It's just about being on that path of never ending improvement. And provided you do these five things and you don't drink alcohol, I think your life will be amazing. And don't forget to click the link in the description to get access to the video training and have a great day.